Previously, on Beyond the Tracks, we saw essential track maintenance taking place. Catering manager Sam introduced us to his new bar, the Apollo, and a crucial inspection was taking place on the kitchen car. So join us once again as we go Beyond the Tracks. It's March, and spring has definitely sprung at the Ecclesbourne Valley Railway, but there's no time for sunbathing. There's still plenty of work to do before the opening of the 2022 season in a couple of weeks' time. More work has been done to the Apollo. It's had a good spring clean and the bar is fully stocked, ready for its first customers in a couple of weeks. Sam's even installed some colour changing lights, just in case he fancies a disco. Outside the engine shed, work's being done on the Derbyshire Countryman dining car and there's always something going on inside. Because preparations are well underway for the diesel gala. It's not just the big trains that are getting all the attention, it's the little ones as well. And down at the model railway, Jacob and Owen have been working hard to tidy it up and renew sections of the track. It's late on in the month, and a meeting has been called at Worksworth Town Hall for all the members, volunteers, staff and directors of the Ecclesbourne Valley Railway. They're looking at how they can improve, from events, to infrastructure, to customer service and marketing. It's a big year, and everybody needs to be kept in the loop. And that's what today is all about. There's talks from the directors, and a chance for volunteers and staff to ask questions about the upcoming season. One of the main events kick-starting the 2022 season is the Diesel Gala and the arrival of the Deltic. It's important that everything runs smoothly and all the diesels are running in tip-top condition. And that's where Ollie comes in. Uh, this morning's task, uh, one of the uh, driver's assistants, uh, the uh, volunteers on the railway, had his three yearly uh, expiration. Uh, on his on his time scale for his reassessment, so uh, this morning was to essentially uh, take him round the yard, uh, do stop manoeuvres, uh, take a, uh, take the loco for a run down the line, and essentially assess him uh, on all of his all the levels of uh, various competencies that he needs to have to be uh, qualified uh, driver's assistant. And uh, luckily, he passed. So he's all happy, and we're ready for the diesel gala. So. And just how much are you looking forward to the diesel gala, Ali? very much so it's been a long time well I say it's been a long time we did have one last year but I mean it's the first time where we can we can ease off uh, pretty well um, so yeah I'm looking forward to it, especially with the uh, with the Delta coming so I'm the diesel traction supervisor on the railway uh, so my job is to essentially make sure all of the diesel locomotives shunters mainline diesel locomotives are all in ticket uh, and all safe to be used for various operations shunting permanent way passengers uh, they all go through various examinations that have to be kept up to date. Um, that's based on hours, so however long the locos work for, um, will determine what exam it needs in terms of um, you have to do it on the frame check or check that the cab lights work, check the engine doesn't leak, various things like that. So. Favourite part of the job is, uh, well, there's two. I like it when everyone's here and we're all, we're all grouping together to get a job done. That's quite enjoyable, and then obviously the, the main joy is driving them really. One of the biggest tasks this winter has been the significant engine work on Western Region Hydraulic Class 14 D9537, Eric. Chris and the team have worked tirelessly to maintain the power unit to make sure it's ready for the diesel gala. This has proved to be a very big task and the team should be very proud of their hard work. So I've almost reached my first year. I'll be reaching my first year in mid-April. So a couple months. So I've been here the, um, as an apprentice engineer, as a volunteer. I've been working on Trains have been working on the 73 we have in restoration. 
and I've been helping out and watching shunts so I can eventually do the same thing one day. My favourite thing to do at the railway is just be here. There's nothing I don't enjoy doing here. I enjoy everything here. I just enjoy the social side, enjoy the work side. It's just, there's nothing bad here, I guess. We'd better let Ollie and the team crack on, because there's not long to go. It's a very important day for the railway, but the weather has other ideas. Any sign of a lovely sunny day has been thrown out the window, because it's decided to snow. Today, the railway is expecting the return of Class 4 Standard Tank 880. It's returning from a short period at the Great Central Railway, and luckily, the sun has decided to come out just as it arrives back on site. It's a big job that involves road closures, police escorts, and a pretty big lorry. The team at Ecclesbourne are glad to have the standard back, as it is the staple of the steam team, and they're looking forward to using it throughout the 2022 season. But before the standard can be put to good use, it needs to be safely taken off the lorry. This is a very precise procedure, as it means that the rails and the ramp need to be lined up perfectly. Once the ramp is in place, the standard is carefully and slowly lowered down the ramp with the use of a winch. This means the team are in control at all times and can perform an emergency stop if necessary. While the standard is being lowered, the heavens begin to open again and the snow begins to fall. But this doesn't phase the team. They know they have a crucial job to do. The standard now makes the smooth transition from the ramp onto the rails. It can now be moved back down to the yard to be prepared and checked that it is fit to run. On its return to the Eccles Warren Valley Railway, Standard 4 880 needs to receive a full fitness to run examination. This includes both hot and cold boiler tests and a full examination to the underframe. The team also ensure that the Standard is looking spick and span by giving it a full clean. All these tasks are done prior to service. Luckily, it's passed with flying colours and it's full steam ahead for the Standard and it's going to be making its public debut for 2022 tomorrow. It's Saturday the 9th of April 2022 and it's the first day of the season and 880 is off shed bang on time. The first task is for today's guard, Peter, to bring the engine onto the stock and couple up. This is before he undertakes his fitness to run examination prior to service. It's crucial that a thorough check round of the coaching stock is undertaken once the locomotive is coupled up. This is to make sure that the correct brake pressures are coming through and everything is safe and secure, ready for service. Once completed, 
it's time for a shunt to the departure platform for the 1050 service to Duffield. And it's the first one of the season. The standard is in the platform and is ready and raring to go. The coaches are looking comfortable and clean and the passengers are beginning to arrive, ready for the first journey of the 2022 season. It's been a long time coming and the staff at Ecclesbourne Valley Railway are definitely ready to kickstart the season. Well, it is after four months of not being here. It's uh, fantastic to be back and seeing people enjoying the railway again. So yeah, happy days. Uh, it feels great actually, so everyone's here, cafe is already open, the trains have already gone, so <laughs> we're all getting ready, we're all really prepared really. So. Great to be by, can't wait, the smell and the sounds of steam, absolutely wonderful. Finally, it's here, bring it on. <laughs> and I hear there's lots of events planned this year Lee. Yes, starting this week with the arrival of the Delta, Easter weekend coming right up, straight into the Diesel Gala. Jubilee's not far after. As the first train of the day departs Worksworth Station, the standard will travel down the nine miles of track to Duffield. But on its way, it will pass fields and trees, rolling hills, and even the Ecclesbourne River. Before making its way to Duffield, it'll have a short stop to perform a run around before making its way back to Worksworth Station with this season's first Happy Passengers. It smiles all round after the first journey of the season and a busy platform shows just how popular this heritage railway is. The standard now uncouples and makes its way over to platform one. It's the perfect chance for passengers to take photos and see just what goes into making sure the standard runs smoothly throughout the day. But it's not long before it's back over on platform two, ready for the next service of the day. The standard will have two more round trips to perform today before finally returning back to works of station with the last passengers of the day and it shares a rare moment with Eric, who's waiting over at Platform 1. So Peter, how would you sum up today? Fantastic, fantastic. It's been a busy day for all the team at Ecclesbourne Valley Railway, but the team have worked together to make sure today ran smoothly and efficiently. And as the sun sets, the first day of the 2022 season has been a roaring success. The team now head home for a well-deserved rest, to be up bright and early, to do it all again tomorrow. Next time, the railway has a spring in its step as the Easter Bunny pays a visit. And we've got the arrival of the Deltic, because it's time for the Diesel Gala. Join us again next time when we go Beyond the Tracks. <laughs>